Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Lush Gardener. In today's video, we are going to be talking about one of the most easiest succulent to grow. And uh, this is something that a lot of beginners tend to ask me, what is a succulent that is easy for a beginner? And that's a very good question in fact because when you start off with succulents, it's always better to start off with easy succulents so that you can get a hands-on experience in growing them. And then you can eventually as and when you start getting experience, you can start uh, you know growing other varieties but initially start off with easy but a very small quantity of succulents let's say two or three succulents i've already given you two succulents before which is sedum adolfi and a graptoveria marpin these are the two easiest succulents that you can start off with and the third one is our graptoveria fred ives i'll put up the parentage on the screen so you will be able to understand because Graptoveria is a hybrid between a Graptopetalum and an Echoveria. So I'll put up the uh, parentage on the screen so you can get a little bit of fair idea of how this succulent was created. Now it's an extremely easy to grow succulent as I said but you have to follow the basic care requirements which is the soil. It has to be loose, porous and well draining. Ensure that there is lean nutrients in the soil. Uh, what I have noticed is Graptoveria Fred Ives will grow in any type of soil as long as it's loose and porous. Uh, I have grown it in ground as well. It tends to do quite well. I'll put up the image if I can find it. And they do extremely well. You can offer them a good amount of morning direct sunlight for 5 to 6 hours after acclimating it. Only then you'll be able to see this beautiful purplish color on it. Otherwise, an indirect bright light, it kind of turns a little bit greener in color. It tends to grow really huge as compared to other succulents. Uh, I will try to find a picture, a very old picture, because again, this is one of the succulents that I had started off with uh, along with Sedum Adolfi. So I was lucky enough that uh, the succulents that I had received when I initially started, uh, a lot of them were very easy succulents. So probably that's how I was able to, you know, keep a lot of my succulents alive because a lot of them were very easy succulents. Apart from that, my environment also played a very important role in uh, helping me grow these succulents. So you can see they look absolutely beautiful. Uh, they are very easy to propagate. You can do a stem cutting, separating of offsets. Uh, you can even do a leaf propagation. The leaf propagations also turn out to be very successful. And a lot of times uh, the uh, leaf propagations, uh, one mother leaf might have one head, two heads or three heads. They tend to put out multiple pups on each uh, single mother leaf. That is again a very good thing. Now again guys, Graptoveria, it goes dormant during the summers and winter is their growing period. So if you are from a place wherein the temperatures are very, very high, then please do not do any propagation, repotting, uh, stem cutting, leaf propagation uh, during the summers. Wait until the temperatures get a little pleasant or probably once they reach uh, in and around 30 degrees celsius that's when you can start propagating them but they are extremely easy uh, very fuss free but the only thing that you have to be careful is that uh, these do get affected with mealybugs uh, very often so you have to keep a close eye do a routine check once in two weeks or three weeks because they do get affected with mealybugs. So that being said, it's a very, very easy succulent. If you do not have this succulent yet in your collection, do get them and add them in your collection because uh, they are very easy. They propagate very fast. They multiply very fast. Uh, apart from that, they are fuss free. The only thing is the mealybugs. If that is taken care, this is one of the most easiest succulent you can add in your collection. It can be grown indoor. It can be grown outdoor. If you're growing it indoor, ensure you're keeping it very close to the grow light or just below the grow light so that it can use up a good amount of light so guys that's all about it i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating